Hello, everyone, and welcome to Conversations with Matt Delacri. Today, we're going to do the last episode in the series on moving forward. We've recognized that there's problems in Christianity, and we've talked a lot about things that we need to do in order to be able to take some step forward and deal with the problems that we have and start making things better instead of just complaining about things. And so what I want to do in this last episode is talk about acting on our beliefs. So it's all well and good to say that we believe this or we believe that, or we think that it's good to to love people or you know help the poor, whatever, but we have to actually do it. And I want to bring up an example that um, most people don't necessarily think about. So if you've been in church for a while, you'll know the answer to this question. What happens if you pray for patience? Now, if you talk to somebody who's been in church for a while, they're going to know immediately that the answer is, well, if you pray for patience, then God's going to give you something that's going to create patience. He's not just going to give you patience. He's going to put you in situations which are going to test your patience. Life is going to get difficult, and you'll have to learn patience in the process. And it's sort of a, it's sort of a, one of those funny Christian jokes, like we all know that this is what it is. But I want to ask the question, so do you pray for patience? Because everybody knows the answer to that question is, well, if you pray for patience, God's going to put you in situations that's going to, that are going to test your patience. But then if you follow up with the question, so do you pray for patience? The answer is no. Nobody ever does that. Well, why not? If that's what happens, if, if you pray for patience, if, if assuming God exists, if God exists, you pray for patience, and then he gives you situations that are going to force you to have to learn patience— don't you think that he thinks that it's worth it? That it's worth you going through something unpleasant and difficult and potentially painful to learn patience? That he thinks that the the end result of you being a more patient person is worth the trouble? And if God thinks that it's worth it, why don't you do it? I'm intentionally pausing for a long time because I want you to think about that. Why don't you do that? If God is real and God thinks that something is worth your time to do, why don't you just trust him and follow him and and do what he tells you? He's clearly smarter because, you know, omniscience, all-knowing, we're not. I mean— Probably nobody watching this is the smartest person on the planet because there's only one. So God is smarter than humans. Why don't we trust that he knows what he's doing? If My point is, if you really believe that Christianity is true and God is who we say he is, and he thinks you should do something, why aren't you doing it? Why is this not everything that you do with your entire life. That's what we really need to start doing. If you believe something is true, act on it. If you act on it and it turns out that, all right, well, maybe your beliefs probably aren't entirely accurate. Maybe they need some modification. That's fine. That's called growth. That's called maturing. That's what life is about. Your beliefs aren't all right. But you're never going to know that if you don't try them out. And even if you have 100% correct beliefs, they're not going to do anybody any good if you don't live them out. So if you really believe this Christianity thing, act like it. And do what you say this thing is all about. Live it out. Act out your beliefs.